So I hope you guys enjoyed the console killer video because I'm taking a step further. I'm going to do some small and also big upgrades to the console killer to make it maybe a little bit more powerful, a little bit more silent and a little bit cooler. So come take a look. Let's see how you can upgrade our $500 console killer. So by all means that console killer definitely outperformed the PS4 and the Xbox One and is pushing the PS4 Pro for its money. Under $500 Canadian, which the PS4 Pro is $500 Canadian, you're getting quite a powerful PC that can do more than just gaming. You know, if you want to do some small editing on it, it's not too bad. You just have to wait a little bit on the processing time. What we are able to do is now upgrade it at even step further so I'm gonna upgrade the stock cooler which by all means is still really really good don't worry about using that in your console killer case but I want to upgrade to a Noctua L9 NHI no NHL9i I got it which is a nice small uh, low profile cooler which is a lot better than the stock cooler I'm taking the 128 gigabyte SSD and I'm leaving it in there as my boot drive but I'm upgrading to a 500 gigabyte um, SSD as well as my storage device as I'll probably use that as my desk setup which is behind the fridge there and use my main rig in my entertainment system. So last but definitely not least we're taking the R9 270X we're going to take it out not that it was a bad performer it definitely hit games like Battlefield on High, Shadow of Mordor it definitely didn't struggle in those games but I want to take a step further and I want to get 144Hz on Ultra 1080p or even do some small, you know, 40fps, 50fps 4K gaming. So, I'm upgrading from the R9 270X to an R9 Nano. I am super thrilled to pull this up into the console killer and I probably won't have to touch this uh, portable PC for a long time. So, I'll be taking it online to my friend's house and maybe even just around the house in general. So, let's get right in it and um, let's go to time lapse. And we are done. Let's get to those benchmarks.
So now you've seen the upgrade to our console killer, which I haven't even given them an official name yet, but... Hmm, Lino? R9 Lino? It's kind of ugly. In any case, let me know what you think about the upgrades that I made to the console killer. I cannot see doing much more. If I could fit some nice, what's it called, water cooling into this, I would, but I just don't have the time to do that right now. Maybe in the future we'll go even farther, but right now I think the upgrades we made to our console killer are pretty nice, and this is a very formidable desktop, even if you want to use it as your main rig. I love that ITX cases are becoming even more available and um, it's definitely pushing from its original niche market. So, if you guys like the video, give it that thumbs up. Again, I'm holding this, my bad. But don't forget to subscribe. I'll be doing more videos like this. Let me know in the comments below what else you guys would like to see or maybe some changes you suggest making to this. Again, I'll see you guys at the next video and don't forget to do it live.